Hey guys, crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Kevin. I'm Aaron. And we're back with the final episode of book three of what? Legend of Korra. <gasps> I didn't want to know that. I did. I like to know that things are finales. No! <laughs> Last time on Legend of Korra, the airbenders are missing. Uh, They're we, dead. Yep, we discovered that... They, turn, they got that turned into water, Eric. Bowling got turned into a lava bender. And Zaheer can fly. Yeah. He just silly. flies. It's awesome. Aang flew lots of times. Not like that. No, he this was supporting like himself on, a, on an air ball. No, this guy, he had wings. He didn't have wings. He, I mean, he, he also had, had a glider. Had, not that. He had something. <laughs> we don't have the Aang statue out, so the glider is on that. Yeah. That. Glider. Yeah. 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 He can't fly. He can glide, Aaron. It's yeah. a big difference. He flew. Look, a flying squirrel. I'll hand you that. Let me see you fly. Huh? Let me see you glide. If I can control Eric, Eric if I give you, yeah, mm. you literally just made the worst argument. No, I didn't because for flying, him. flying squirrels don't fly; they glide. Yeah, he flew. He would just take off on the ground and go. Psh. He was but fucking. You, he was, but you also nah, gave nah, him nah, a thing that glides. Nah, that's nah, called he a didn't flying put his squirrel. Fucking like this. Yeah, but it doesn't fly. It glides. But I figure a semi-intelligent person would get that, right, Shane? I don't know. <laughs> Superman jumps real hard. I mean, dog, obviously. <laughs> he flies. <laughs> yeah, obviously. It's a big deal. So Zang. He doesn't. Aang has. He flew. He flew. In the last episode, right? Aang flew in like lots of episodes. No. Yeah. He would just. I mean, he glided. Wings and just whoosh, no, he was gliding. He flew. He would take off from the ground. He would glide. He's like Aaron's glide in an around. airplane. Like I can fly, everyone. It, what's the what's airplane do? Is it glide or fly? It flies, because it has the ability to fly. So you don't. So did Aang. No, I'm he not didn't. saying I can fly. No. Aang, flow. No. No. Unless the metal clan taught you a way to bend platinum. Yeah. Once we administer this poison, your body will naturally react, forcing you into the avatar state in an effort to keep you alive. Oh. Sadly for you. Then when you kill her. We'll be entering it for the last time. Oh. No. That makes sense. The avatar cycle. Together, we will forge a world without kings and queens. Without borders or nations. So that's why they couldn't just kill her before. Yeah, they needed this stuff. Korra, the last avatar. No, it's fucking Aang. Kind of badass. Assholes. <gasps> Look, Janora. How the hell did she get here? <sighs> oh, shit. It looks like Mercury. <sighs> oh, it is Mercury, isn't it? Her lips are jacked. ready. Oh. As soon as she's in the avatar state, take her out. Don't, don't, don't. The chains? This ain't good. James Bond thing. Fucking no, sharks in no, there. Cora, fight it. He's got some rough. Find the airbenders. <sighs> Damn it. I want Tenzin sidelined. I mean, he fought hard. If you yeah, he did. Yeah. He would have beat here. Oh, oh my. Everybody. Uda. 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 I got to think of Robbie. She looks like Catherine right there. Who? PS3 game Catherine? Hey! What do you think you're doing? Oh! Yeah! What up? Hey, Pong! No, that's not... Uh-huh. Oh, Sami! Finally! Oh, yeah! Chaka, 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 chaka. Oh, no! Dang it! Now, destroy the Avatar! Dragon of the Oh! Earth. Earthbend! Hey, yeah, now the chains are that fucking there. Really Look at her little arms. Like this. <laughs> cool! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I want one of them to die. Oh. I mean, as a result of this. She's breaking her chains. Jeez! <laughs> Misa! Oh, shit! Maybe you guys underestimate oh, this. Oh, okay. that. I do that point. Oh, fuck you, fuck. She's oh, gonna do it. Rocket boots! Yeah. Lava versus lava. You help Cora. We got this. Fire versus water. Jeez. Oh, man. The fucking Hulk. Yeah, it's like the it. fucking Hulk. Yeah, it's like the Hulk coming after Iron Man. <laughs> Remember Aang at the end of the last airbender? Yeah. Fire. Yeah, and he was. Oh, he flew oh, there, Eric! Oh. He got a there. He flew at the end. No, that was just the elements on no, the crazy. No, you You ah, fucked. I can defend it. We have to help Cora. How? Yeah, how you can help her. Oh, oh surprise! Oh, that was surprise, oh. motherfucker! Oh, oh. What are you smiling about? Come on, yeah. show him, show him. A lot is 
changed since yes! then. Yes! <laughs> a lot has changed since then. How did he like, become that <laughs> proficient? How did he became so proficient? This is an amazing shot. Yeah, it's all in one. It's a drone shot. Yeah, right how to be a drone. Mm. That gone it. Cora, how did you get hit? Jeez, Cora. Oh! It's like when a fly is flying around you. Just fucking fly, you just throw shit at Yeah. It, trying to kill it. Ooh! You went ice. You got ice. Chill. What jokes are here? The ice lane. Oh, dude, that shit's getting to her. <laughs> Poison. Oh, no. I'm gonna take her hair. How could he fly like that? He's unlocked powers of airbending that haven't existed for thousands of years. Follow me. He's gonna pull some shit out of her ass again. You have no water. It's over. Not yet. Should've pulled out blood bending or some shit. Right? You know what I mean? Oh, oh no! Shit. Why would you jump down there? Ah, uh, Spider Man! Jeez! Fuck! One place you shouldn't have went, right? Oh, oh shit! Oh, I love the it. one place you should have done that! <laughs> oh, I thought she was gonna land on one of those spikes. That was good. Oh, Mako? Yep. Mako in Berlin! What up? Take him down! Yeah, we're pro benders. Yeah, brother. Yeah, they are. Bam! Ooh, keep hitting them, keep hitting them! Give up, Kazan, you can't win! I'm never going back to prison. If I'm going down today, you're coming with me! Oh, oh, man, so this be shit. it! Sled. It's like that level in Aladdin, the magic carpet. <laughs> He's fucking blowing her to death. That's a bitch ass move, man. Oh, got his shoes on. That would hurt so fucking bad. I think she airbended a little bit slower, didn't she? Like I don't it. think so. I don't know. I imagine she was trying to control it. The poison has done its work. Ah, oh, shit. God damn, it's brutal. Here it comes. Focus too long, there's a here. It's the Avatar theme, but with the air bending music. Yeah. Like it. Or the air bending instrument, I should say. Chain's gotta do something. It's gonna wrap it's around the his neck or chain, something. It's That's only chain kept. It has to be a reason for it, right? Yeah. Metal. Can they metal bend her down or something, maybe? It's platinum. I don't it's know. Fly out. She just whipped it. Yeah. She's like a Balrog. Oh. Cycle is safe. Jesus. Oh. Okay, there we go. Finally. Take it off. I feel so pissed off. Fuck, 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 fatty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all kinds of shit. It's me. She's still stuck yeah. in there. Oh, uh, yeah, the poison, I guess. The Red Lotus has won. You can save her. The poison is metallic. Don't get the iron, let me fuck up. <laughs> yeah, you fucked. Her body just cracked in half. Ah! Uh, oh, oh, it's 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 Marty. <laughs> Shame. I'm here for you. That was I'm so never epic. Oh. You go. No! <laughs> you don't understand. The revolution has already begun. Chaos is the natural order of all. Whoa! Yeah. Did you see what I did there? I put a sock in it. Literally. Hello. What's wrong? It's great. Thanks. I don't... You know, nobody expects you to bounce back right away. It's no, only shit. been two weeks. I want you to know that I'm here for you. If you ever want to talk or anything. But let's just try to enjoy this today. Or Janora. I like their friends. Wait, did I miss an episode? Even after like the Mako stuff and everything that happened, yeah. you know. It always yeah. happens. So go. That fucking president guy. You look beautiful, sweetie. I'd like to officially welcome you back to Republic Fuck that fucker. I know that the last time we saw each other, it didn't end on the best terms. We should go inside. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> click. You know I was already inside. I got this. I was gonna say. Hang in there, kid. Yeah. Fucking A. So damn handy. She's not looking good. Neither would you if you'd gone through what she had. She get her tattoos? Yes. Maybe. 
Today, we welcome the first airbending master in a generation. Yeah. And I couldn't be more proud of my daughter. Thanks to her leadership, I see a very bright future for the Air Nation. Of course, there would be no Air Nation without Avatar Korra. She opened the portals and somehow the world began anew for us. There's no way we can ever repay her for all she's done. But we can follow her example of service and sacrifice. So while she recuperates, the Air Nation will reclaim its nomadic roots and roam the Earth. Oh, cool. But unlike our ancestors, we will serve people of all nations. Like the Jedi. Work I vow that we will do everything in our power to follow in your footsteps and bring harmony to the world. Did she shave? No shit! Sweet. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it is. Everybody's gonna get high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You need to be able to see the yeah. smoke kind of thing. Rather than they just add it in. <sighs> Aww. <Bummer laughs> it made me emotional. I don't know why. Yeah. What was kind of weird about it is like, it was sad. It was like, you're watching this great movie with this hero, and it's the end of the movie, and they're in a wheelchair, and it's war veteran. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like yeah, the like, sad war yeah, this movie. This is like the last episode. He's like war. the sad war movie, and she's like in a wheelchair at the end. And yeah, I mean, it, was, it was like that one episode of uh, Torchwood, right? Yeah. Where that that one officer yeah. had gone out. I was gonna say usually in the movie the the, the guy's in the wheelchair, but he like stands up for his buddy. It's in the, uh, yeah. You know? <laughs> but this one, she just he tried to stand up. And... <laughs> well, it's sad because she's sad. conflicted so much for her people. She's yeah, just... yeah, she she sacrificed so much. Yeah. You know, at least in video games, I always feel like the hero, you always die. You don't get debilitated in the wheelchair in the end. Yeah. Because I feel like I'd give my life easily to help people, but I wouldn't go in a wheelchair easily. Yeah. And I know it sounds bad. Sure, no, I get you. I just would not want to go in a wheelchair. I know I'm not, I know there's people out there in a wheelchair who are probably watching this, you know, I don't mean to offend anybody, you know yeah. what I mean? Well, no, it, it really reminds me of, I mean, recently we watched an episode of The Punisher where they had a disabled veteran yeah. who got his ass beat by a guy that he's like, if I had my leg, I would have whooped this guy. Yeah. But because I don't, he whooped me, you know? And the feeling of just, like, helplessness he had was yeah. so strong. So you can kind of relate that to what Cora is going through. I mean, everybody seems to be optimistic that she will be better, or at least they're just hoping she will be better. But we don't know what the effects are of whatever that that poison was. Yeah. I didn't realize it had such a huge consequence like that. Yeah. No, well, I, I mean, as long as it had been in her system. Yeah. You know, I I think it was something like mercury or something like that. It's something that, something that messed up her nervous system. system. Yeah. It's that was of, triggering the avatar state. It's one of those story beats where, like, the I feel like the. Uh, storyteller has complete, complete control of what happens because if they just like oh yeah they got out of their system and then she woke up and she was fine I would have totally accepted yeah. it you know but I also totally accept that she's not fine because she was in there yeah, yeah it kind of makes it it gives it a beautiful little ending actually if it, Avatar, yeah. if it ended now and there wasn't that season I'd, well, see, feel, I'd feel pretty good about that's it that's the, the downfall that we have it's not so much that oh we knew this was the last episode of this one sure it's more like well we know that there was one more book yeah. that we gotta move on to yeah. whereas if you watch these live they never knew then this season was going to be the last one. You know? I, I yeah. always knew towards the end, though. No, I, I think sure. they uh, knew uh, uh, for book three they were going to do one more. Sure? I, I think book one, they didn't know. Book they two, did, they didn't, didn't, they didn't know. know. Uh, book three, I think they did know. And then book four, they knew that would be the end. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. By the way, but like, if just looking at it, it, it would have been an okay ending, I think. You know what I mean? It's sure. Sad, I mean, beautiful l- let's say that she stayed in a wheelchair her entire life. They they still strive to save the Avatar, so the next Avatar would be born when she yeah, dies. Yeah, and they still have now the Airbenders who are going to be trying yeah. to take care of Harmony and everything. So I mean, if it ended like this, I don't I don't know because I wasn't there whenever you know I wasn't watching it when it was live. Sure. No. But it feels like it ended, and all of them feel like they end in a way where yeah. like if this is how it ended, it wouldn't be terrible. You know, it yeah. wouldn't feel like it's a cliffhanger leaving us open. Well, we're like we got to see what happens next. For me, the spirit is like if if Last Airbender with Aang ended. On any Season of those two, books, yeah, you know, yeah. it would been... you'd be like, "Wait, what?" Yeah. What about the rest of it? You know, because that was a whole journey of like, here's the story. Whereas these are each like individual arcs. Sure. And like, they always felt like, well, we're gonna do this. This is the story we want to tell. I don't know if we're gonna get another one. You know, yeah. so we're not gonna try to do a big arc. Mm-hmm. I feel like ending the Avatar cycle, they're kind of doing, you know, because of the way it happened towards the end. I, I feel like they kind of 
thought to themselves, well, if we do more, it's going to be very interesting. You know, so I felt like after that, there, there had to have been more to yeah. see the consequences of that. You know, and, and, and the opening the spirit, uh, the spirit world, mm-hmm. and I can go back and forth. Uh, I felt like there needs to be, a, you know, a, a story telling what happened. I mean, with that, that, it just seems like we just have this feels like have guys flying around, spirits flying around. They don't really do much, and then the airbending came back. Yeah, that's pretty much the big consequence. From yeah, that. but this I feel like it could end. You know what I mean? And there's well, there's the roots, which we never saw anything else about yeah. after they left. Yeah, true. Remember that? Yeah, the president was just like this shit sucks. That's and why then the president he's like, was like, back. Yeah. I heard you did some shit. That's what he, the president was mad at him. That's what that he, he was saying. Like last time I saw you, you know, we were uh, things didn't end on the yeah. best of terms. Yeah. Yeah. That's because the roots, and they blamed her for it. Did they? Did it ever get fixed? All those vines and shit growing in the city? I think they just got, got used, used to it. it. Yeah, because they're like, well, it's either have the roots or. Everyone dies. Is it okay? I guess we have roots now. You always gotta have your roots. I guess talk about that last fight. I think that was better than Aang's last fight. Seriously? Aang versus uh, the Fire was, Lord? I Wait, thought it was you mean Uzai? Aang's last fight where he flew? That one? Yeah. I thought it was he didn't I fly. He flew in that. What do you mean he didn't he fly? He was using airbending to like. No, he didn't. He, he was using, I mean, so he was using he... centrifugal force of all the elements to keep himself moving. Tenzin just said it hasn't happened for thousands of years. You think he forgot his dad flew? Yeah, he wasn't there. No. He wasn't there. No one was there. You only need, no they no one was thing. there watching them fight. Bullshit. That is not flying. What do we call it? Okay. You Using a bunch of elements at once to keep yourself kind of not, not there. I'm not Instead of arguing about <laughs> <laughs> airbending flying. Instead of arguing the definition you. of flight, you yeah. should be arguing that he could carry Korra, and yet a little block of ice on his foot was weighing him down. It's cold, Calvin. Cold. Yeah, that. that, how, that how do that's... you know that he doesn't need one of his appendages to do his flight thing? He might. What if he does? He has three others. He was yeah, carrying the it, weight of a girl on four, fucking, and he couldn't carry know. the weight of himself on three. He might. I don't know. His... Why are you directing that at me? I'm just saying. <laughs> this is a much more. What the hell is wrong with you, Eric? I don't know. I don't know why, I just, why I decided that happened. I'm just saying, Tenzin said it has a flun for... People haven't done that for thousands of years. That it's, includes it, Avatar That Aang. specific Maybe move. Maybe just nobody saw Airbenders can no. fly I'm all the sure time. I'm pretty sure Aang flew. I'm pretty sure Aang down in the comments right now, everybody's down there being like, wait, he wasn't flying. Sick. I'm not saying it's the same things that he did, but he fucking flew. Well, here's the, he was he, flying. I, just like I, I, I believe, I believe he flew in the last episode, but he didn't fly the way Tenzin said. Like the way he, like the way uh, the, what the, the antagonist's name was his name. Yeah, Ozai. Ozai. The way he was flying has never been done in thousands of years. Oh, you mean? Oh well, no, Zahir. 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 Yeah. Ozai. Yeah, I was gonna say that Fire Lord, right? <laughs> no, Ozai <laughs> did what Azula did with yeah. the Iron Man stuff. But, but, but he, he, he yeah, yeah, he didn't do what Aang did. I don't think. And I, I believe Jahar. they both. I honestly believe they were both flying in a way. They were, but. uh he was not with just not like that. But Aang didn't airbend. Like, I didn't say the Aang, same thing. Aang, Aang, didn't, Aang didn't fly that way. You're right. Yeah. Aang yeah. has flown. Aang flew the way you were saying, using the elements. He, he, he was flying. Oh, like he never said he flew. He said he did not fly. Yeah, that's. He not, said he just didn't touch. You're the talking about when he had the elements rolling around him, right? And he was going like this. <laughs> I mean, right? he lifted up in the air, and then the elements slowly all joined around him while he was yeah flying. You gotta yeah, think about the are, artistic. That's, went, that's bending. I, I don't and then think went, Zahira, like, like Zahir actually flies without bending. Yeah, he can go up and down and change directions. Like, I, I think he's 100% down. bending. No, I don't think he's using air currents. I'm, he's actually flying. Not saying he's using air currents, but he's I'm air bending. He's 100% bending, though. Well, yeah. When I say bending, he's not, like, Aang was using elements to make himself move through the air. Zahir is just moving through the air, not using elements. Yeah. So it's you don't, think airbending, you don't think he's airbending it's at all? It's not completely you know, different. I think it's completely he said different. He's using a te- move, he said he's using, using a technique airbending. that airbenders haven't used for thousands of years. Yeah, but he's not using an element around his body to make himself go. He's flying on I don't own. think that's what... Well, okay. he's okay, a, oh, because the rocks are going around him, that's not why he's flying. Visual, no, visually, it looked... It, you know what I mean? The way it made it look to us visually, sure. it, it looked like... And he you, started like you flying. Said, I don't think that's the reason. I mean, the Avatar, he did it so many times whenever he was in the Avatar state, he just started floating up into the air. Yeah, but that's just that was there was an elements flying around him every time he did that. We also have to remember. I, I believe it is like whenever the circle comes around him. Every it's the time air he around? floated into the air, there were not elements just flying around him. I've watched the series three times now. I, almost every time, I would say there's rocks. I can't think of any time he was ever doing it when there. You watch that three times. The, you know watch Chuck yet? Nope. <laughs> I believe every single time that he Waste flew in time. the air, it was always air going around him. Yeah. Eng. Yeah. Yeah. 
There was. Yeah, so Zaheer's doing it differently. He's just I, Yeah, I, I believe Zaheer's yeah. doing it differently. Yeah, I, I do. It, I, I believe they're it's both. It's like a weightless airbin. Yeah. Yeah. He did know, so does Batman fly then? Batman fucking glides through shit. He's not, he's not a flyer. Batman never just lifts into the air like this. If there was a bunch of wind, we would. What? If there was a bunch of wind doing the same thing that happens around Air's body, and he put his fucking cape out, you don't think he would fly up like that? You go to Wonder Works, North Carolina, you go in that little room, baby, you fly. Exactly. You fly. You sit there and you yeah. fly. You fly? Well, this is a, uh, this, I guess it's a good argument. Maybe we can have an actual poll for Legend of Korra. What, just if Aang could fly? If you want to, oh, I'm a, I, don't, I don't think Aang ever flew. He literally. He flew. didn't fly that way, but he. No, it's not, the same, he flew it's not at the all? same method. He it's not, literally. It's, it's flew. not like it's not flying. Well, I mean, he changes directions. So, right? so he, airplanes he, are not he, flying. He can speed up. He can slow down. According to you, but, they're glide, right? According to you, I would say an airplane uh, flies. According to you, that doesn't fly. What, it just when it, I it, say it gets fly. fast and rides air currents and glides through the air. When it's I say flying, fly, right? Well, the method doesn't. Is matter. that what he's saying? The method. Know, the, yeah. the method doesn't matter. They're they're still flying. But they're right? both flying. Yeah. yeah. I, I, but I do believe I, Eric's I agree. Correct. I believe Eric's correct when he says he's not flying the same way. I, I, I never I, argued. That. We never argued that. I just said for a second flew back in the day. I'm like, Aang did he was fly. Gr- he was drawing correlation between the similarity of the two powers, but he never actually made the comparison. I never said Aang has the same powers that here has. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Aang That's flew. what it made it sound like. I'm saying Aang flew. He's like, no, he didn't. I'm like, he did. He didn't fly like that. Eric is using He's the never term flown on his flow. Own, right? He so has flown flying. on his own. What do you mean? No, he hasn't. Eric, the, the air ball thing that he made, sure. the thing that he made to get uh-huh. his tattoo, he can fly with that. We gotta think about the artistic. He can just float around. We, we gotta think about the liberty. He, he, he can control the air that he's on. He's not flying. He, he, I know what you're trying to say. I'm making a distinction between the word. But you're flying misusing the, power the word flying. flying and only making it your I, definition. It's like this. Zaheer can fly. No one's ever done that. Yeah, you said egg that. Hang on, hang on. Can Superman fly? Yeah, Superman can, can fly. Can Red Tornado fly? Yeah, they both run. Yeah. Flash so he, no, they both fly. have speed. What? They oh both have God. speed. No, it's the same bowl. He's he's running because they he's both speed. run, right? Every time we've ever seen air flowing, we can see it. We don't see that with Zaheer, right? It's an air bending move. It's an air bending move, but he's not using a bend. He's not bending air around <coughs> him to glide, right? Like in in the fight, he flies so fast that air comes off of him, but he's not using air to guide himself. I'll say I don't know the method of how he flies. I assume it's because he's an airbender. Yeah, it is. Uh, I don't know if he's... <coughs> he's using something we've never seen. We don't see animation around him. Uh, you also got to remember, when we see people float up in the Avatar state, the artistic liberties that the animators take make mm-hmm. it look cool. Sure. See, I, it, it's, it's, I guess it's hard to draw f- from something you saw in, in Avatar because he did it. Like, well, it probably looked cool, so they said, let's make him do this. So it's done in anime, which this is, you know, inspired from that. Like I said, yeah, exactly. You're you're completely correct. There is artistic in expression when it comes to this stuff. Yeah. I was saying every time we saw Aang do it, there was always an effect being done. Mm-hmm. Like think- every time Flash runs with super speed, there's always lightning coming off of him. If he just hustles down the street, he's not using that power. Every time we saw Aang do what? Every time we saw Aang float in the air, there was always... Uh, elements around him, whereas Zaheer just kind of floats there. Yeah. So that I, I would say that because of that different choice, and we've seen uh, Korra do it as well whenever she became in the Avatar, Avatar State, State at the yeah. end of book one. They had the elements flying around too. I would say that because of that, Zaheer is doing something that's not using the air around him to stay afloat. Right? I'm not saying okay. he's not using air bending. Okay, well, you did before. You said he's no, not bending to I'm, fly. When I, when, I know what you meant. Okay, what I I meant then, I I misspoke. But what I meant was he doesn't have something lifting him up. He's lifting himself up, right? Yeah, I I knew you meant. I think they took it the wrong way. It's not like an air currents lifting him. Is that what you're saying? It's the same way the air bison fly. You want to know how it works? Probably. Huh? I can tell you how it works. You want to know? No. What? Do you, know how the works? Do you really know how it works? Yeah. Did you look it up, or is this like your Wikipedia right thing? I looked it up. Yeah, well, tell us. Or is it going to be spoilers for next season or anything? The principle behind flight is to become one with the wind, mimicking its freedom with, from limitations and inhibitions in both the physical and the mental sense. Once an airbender has embraced these principles, they can fly and hover. However, the bender is still at the mercy of the surrounding environment, mm-hmm. as observed by Zaheer being installed by a tornado. Yeah. He doesn't really answer it very well. 
But well, it's, it's, a, it's a mental state. He has to become one with the wind. What, what did he keep saying? He saying <coughs> the same phrase over and over again. One yeah. with the wind? Go into the void or something like that. Right? Well, well he, he, had, was, he had to have no connection to like yeah. the material world to be yeah. able to like reach it. He, so it's, he said it's, he had to become nothing. Yeah. To, to become wind. Sure. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, I, I, think I, get, I, get, I get what you meant. Like, I ain't going to... Flag like that at all? Yeah, is, is what you're basically trying you're to say. You're saying that I'm I'm being loosey goosey with the term fly. You are, yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. Like, did Ang ever fly? Ang was yes. Ang flew. Okay, that's all I was saying before. Yeah, yeah. but he, I knew he. Lived. So we're, we're, we're arguing semantics. And then you were like, no, he just glides. He's you like were, a squirrel. We're I'm like, what? Semantics. He's not like a squirrel. He, yeah. A squirrel can't just stand on the ground and take off. I thought yeah. it was clear what you were trying to mean. I know. Really? But... Then why were you confused in the beginning argument? Like because said, after, you know, bec- well, I, I, I was, I, I wasn't confused with what he was trying to say. As long as we all know, Aang did fly. Sure, Aaron. That's all I want to say. You were one hundred percent right. Okay. We remember back in Avatar when the the general of the Earth Kingdom was trying to trigger <coughs> the Avatar state in the beginning of this episode. I was like, oh shit, you could have used this stuff, but it ends up killing you. We learned, so you probably yeah. didn't want to use that because he wanted to use Aang to take out the Fire Lord immediately. You remember mm-hmm. that? I saw, I, like, in the beginning, I, was, I wrote that down. I'm like, shit, I can remember to use this stuff, but don't use that. Yeah, and then <laughs> no one was metal benders. You couldn't have removed it. Yeah. Yeah. The, the thing about metal bending and platinum, the reason they can't do it is because platinum is completely pure. The only reason they can do regular metal is because there's still impurities and minerals that they can, yeah. like, r- I mean, there, tiny pieces of rock that they can do. They're not be, actually doing the metal. They're do- still doing the rock. There could be impurities in platinum, but it's very rare. Yeah, basically they've they've purified yeah. it out. When did they say that? It's more easily purified. Uh, I don't remember. They I, said it uh, last episode. I did think. they say last episode? Yeah. Because whenever whenever Toph were, did it, uh, she she Cora found the little pieces chains. of rock that's in metal, and that's what she bends. But because platinum is so pure, that's why you can't bend it. They were mentioning. I don't remember them ever saying about yeah. Toph or anything. Um, it was uh, Poli, I think, when she put the platinum chains on Cora when she was fighting on top of the thing with the airship. And, like, the airbenders were trying to come yeah. up behind her and stuff. And she was flying around and fighting And Toph would do and that thing. he carried her off. When she was in the, the actual box and she did her thing where it goes black and white and then they have, you have that thing. And then you just see the little tiny pieces of rock that's in the metal, you know. And that's what she targets to move the metal. She can't do the actual just pure, uh, what would the word be, Calvin? Like, ingot of metal or whatever. When was that? Was that when she was trapped in the that box? Was, yeah, and she had to use the bathroom or whatever. <laughs> and, oh, and okay. actually, I, I wrote, Wait, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> I, I wrote down a couple things about that, and I've since the, I've thought about it in a way where I've kind of changed my way on the second thing I wrote down. Yeah. First is you know using someone's nicest niceness. <laughs> you know, what I mean? like acting use the bathroom. Yeah, and then like try to whoop their ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I just think that's such a terrible oh, thing. Like, to can do. I please have a drink? And then they come over to give you a drink, you just punch them in the face. Well, I mean, yeah. it's, but I mean <laughs> I, exactly. Yeah, but, or, or the way Cora. Well, then I like I said I, I've. Well, then of, the guy was like, oh, I wish we could go see him kill the Avatar, like my friend. And then I'd be like, fuck this guy. I'd use his niceness against him. Right. <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, like, if so, if some, I, I've thought about like my boyhood years. Like, I guess there's different ways. There's times when. Regardless of method, I wanted to take someone down. I didn't care how. I <coughs> and then there's times where I wanted to show I was better or greater, objectively. And I, I, I feel like I couldn't, you know, like, feel like I'm objectively greater if I had to do what uh, communists did and gladiators stabbed Russell Crowe. I, I get what, I get you know what, what you're mean? saying. What I, would... so I always feel like I'd want, you know, like, I remember yeah. this one kid uh, who screwed over my friend's little sister so he would whoop his ass, but he had a broken arm. I'm thinking, mm-hmm. we can't do it now. Yeah. My friend Jared's like, it's not about... That it's about whooping his ass no matter what. And I'm like, no, it's about taking for everybody at his at his best and making him look terrible yeah. in front of everybody. So like, I always had a problem, I, I guess, like with poisoning some. You know, I mean, I guess with core they weren't trying well, to fight. My her. thing would be like, if it's like the red lotus gonna murder my friend, I'd do whatever I can to get out. But if I was yeah. like, if I was fucking in jail, and the guy came up and I tricked him and beat the fuck out of him, got and escaped, <laughs> and he's just a guy working to. Per- his kids, you know, then I'd be like a dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you were in jail and then you're like, hey, can I have a drink of water? Yeah. And you go over and you like punch him because yeah. he's going to kill Shane. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I but if I were in jail him. and the guard was a guy I knew that got away with killing someone, and I'm not, there, saying, I wouldn't, I'm not saying I would do, I'm saying I'd have gripes about it. Sure. Like, there's. There's things that <laughs> you would have you would have complaints to submit. Well, it's weird. <laughs> it's just saying you feel guilty. You yeah, like there's things I've done years ago. I feel guilty for now. Man, I wish yeah. we done that differently. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it bothers me still, just because like I just don't like fighting people in a weaker state, state especially in front of everybody. 
You know what I mean? I, I would never want the excuse there to be excuse. You know what I mean? So that's why you wouldn't you wouldn't want people to say, well, depend- "Oh, he just took advantage of the situation." Instead not, if, of like, not if I was trying he to be- beat up that, that disabled guy or something. <laughs> well, no, yeah, not if I was trying to be greater, which is something that's usually measured in comparison to your peers between difference between being better and being greater. Then no, if I was trying to be greater, then I, I, I couldn't do that. When, you well, when, you when that guy cussed me out in that wheelchair, you know what I mean? Like yeah. Just, you know. Uh, I'm thinking about, like, his ass before you learned he was in the wheelchair. What, what, yeah. what, what was, this is probably in other movies, but I'm trying to think there was this movie, whatever, where, like, it was just, like, a, it was just a girl and a, and a boy, and they were having a fight. And it's like, there's no, there's no positive thing for the boy, because if he beats the girl, then everyone's just like, oh, you just beat up a girl. Sure. If you get beat by the girl, then you're like, well, you got beat up by a girl. Mm-hmm. That's what they do with that. And, like, I feel like Shane's, like, in that state, was like, I just feel like I was in this point. If I beat him, then... He, well, and there's videos he, you can watch that happen in real life where a, a girl is, like, attacking a guy, like, physically assaulting him, and he fucking stands there and takes it because, you know, but then he just smacks yeah, like, her like, as well, hard as he can, hit and a she girl. falls down one, and then all these fucking white knights come, hey, you don't have a fucking girl, they start beating the fuck out of him, <laughs> you know, it's, you can't win. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You see this guy, you guys sit there and take it. You call me sexist, but I, I don't want to hit a girl. Well, you know of, I mean? of course, yeah, I, I don't want to hit a girl either, yeah. but I'm just saying, like, she's there. And, and she yes, it's because she's she, a girl. If she were a man, she would be doing real damage to this guy. But he takes it until she actually hits him in the eye or the tooth or kicks him in the... And he just slaps her, you know? Yeah. And then now, like, all these guys are watching this girl beat on this guy. But as soon as he slaps her, they got when well, they beat the fuck out of him. You it's know? stupid. Yeah. It, it's it's such a well. Like, I, I I've, I've been slapped and punched a few times by girls, oh, no. yeah. and, I, and I just try to leave or I just push them off, like and not and not in a way where they'll fall down. Like, get yeah. off me! Yeah. Now run out, run outside. Yeah. You know what I mean? <gasps> like Joy and I, like when Joy and I argued, she's like throwing a punch at me, and I was like, "What are you doing?" Like and one time I blocked it, and she hit her hand. She goes, oh, "You said you never hit me." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "I'm blocking your shit, woman." <laughs> you know what I mean? You hit me. <laughs> Oh, so it man. just, but that kind of actually, what you're saying made me think more of uh, Game of Thrones. You know, if I win, I'm the shit who killed an old man. If you win, I'm the shit who got killed by an old yeah. man. Yeah, you know what I mean, it made I me think more of that. They didn't have a goal. They just wanted to end the cycle. They didn't care how they did it, you sure. know, or whatever else. Yeah. But with the Janora thing, man. yeah, let's talk about that. That was her being spirit or her being the tornado guy. Well, I, I was gonna say just the end because I loved it so much that oh, she the- she got her tattoos and. You know, we had talked about, I don't know when we talked about it, it's like, do you have to shave your head, get the tattoos, and then let it grow back if you want to have hair again? Yeah, she shaved her head. Because Aang, his hair grew back eventually, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, she I shaved her head. I think the tattoos, like, the way they do it, like, if their method is archaic, it could mess up the hair, and they yeah. make this fucking line. So now they got shaved, give you the tattoos, then your hair can grow back. But, it's like, I mean, depending how they I, give the tattoos. How do you know it's archaic? They have cars and radios and shit. I mean, because, I mean, that depends. I mean, you can go yeah, to jail, you can go to jail metal, and then there's no. people no. screw up tattoos. I know they're just, I was just, yeah, that's a jail. Water they just had a waterbender going. Just... Yeah, yeah, there you go. Let a waterbender put on the tattoo. Yeah, just That'd embed work. it into the skin rather just than using needles. Just get your liquids like that, whatever. Just Done. It's probably one of those things where like the the pain of getting it's part of the ritual. Well, fuck no, right? I ain't doing like that the, shit. Like what, what's the <laughs> oh, shit? What was what's the movie where the guy? Uh, it's uh. Great White Ninja or something like that. Uh, what? Tommy Boy, you ever see that? Oh, you know, oh, uh, Chris Farley. Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills Beverly Ninja. Hills, no, but you, yeah. you brought it to my house. Yeah, but, but I don't remember. What? Beverly Hills whoa, whoa, Ninja. Whoa, there's this whoa, thing whoa, where the ninjas whoa. have to pick up this thing of water on these two things, and it burns them. Like, and like the part of the part of the pain is part of the initiation into the, being a ninja. And Chris Farley gets out there. He's like, Oh God! Just drops it off. But he still gets them. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so I, I really enjoyed uh, her getting her tattoos. Well, she's done a good job through the series too. Of like, I mean, we we don't fully understand sometimes the the spiritual aspect. Of I am a little is. bitter sometimes when you know? he pops up. I'm like, oh, here we go. Here's the shit's gonna start popping up. But I like this one. This one makes but, sense. But I mean, she she's done it. I mean, she's done a good job of like she has she's had ideas. Like she was the one who was able to connect to the spirits. Yeah. You know, she came up with like you know we never had this many airbenders before. That's new too. Let's, yeah. You know, let's try yeah. something. You know, like. You know, she, she's come up with this astral projection thing because that's pretty much going to the spirit world but staying in this world, right? It's pretty much what she does. Yeah. She leaves her she's, body behind. She goes to the spirit world yeah. and then, like, some of the spirits that were in the spirit world, they came here. She comes here instead. Yeah. And she can just walk around. Okay. Well, she can she can do that. And I was just, I was just thinking, like, they didn't kill Zaheer. Like, Amon is dead. Season 2 villain. He died. He just became... Ra- uh, uh, Fatu, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he died. He was absorbed into the yeah. spirit. Zaheer, they said he's back in jail. And one of the things we had talked about previously is like, 
it, can Zaheer go to the spirit world when he's in jail? And if he can, is it, would it be right to stop him from doing that? How would you stop him? I would say, I don't, I don't know, if, but if, if you, you could, could, you would take his spirit in the spirit world and put it in put the... Put it in jail. No, put, put it, it in, in, the, <laughs> in that pit of uh, despair or whatever the hell you yeah, call the, it. Uh, call the it. pit of despair. For, I mean, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if, he can, <laughs> if he can, like, you're, you're, you're still robbing him of his time. That's his punishment, right? As you put, him, you put someone in jail and you rob them of the one thing you can't See get back time. But yeah. if he can go in the spirit world, that's pretty handy. And he's like, well, I'm not going to be bored sitting in my cell. I'm going to go to the spirit world. But because he can do that, as like a law enforcement person, if you could take that away from him, would you? I'm thinking more about what I'd rather go to jail for 10 years or have my leg cut off. Sure. Well, that's not the... That's a different that was, what did you guys on this side of the <laughs> Okay. Do you think he could have done that before? I don't know. I don't think he could have. I mean... He was always a spiritual person. He was always... Yeah. I mean, he had that... I was I was curious if he could have gone to this... I'm going to say... Because we had beforehand. talked about this before. I'm going to say because he probably could have. Does airbending have anything to do with it? Like, Iroh yeah. was a firebender, but he could go into yeah. it. Yeah. You know, is it just a spiritual thing rather than having to be a bender of any type? I thought airbenders... Yeah. Like the, because of, they that, study it more. Yeah. They're, 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 Who was that truth guy? Was was he a metal bender? He was a too, metal bender, right? Yeah. So I mean, there's you have a fire bender, a metal bender, an air bender. You know, like there's different could, types uh, of bending. I feel like Guru Pati could go into the spirit world. We never saw he him. He was there. a was, bender, right? But, I mean, he no, wasn't he a bender at all. But I feel like he had a line or something where he talked about seeing the avatar in the spirit world. I, th- I mean, it'd be interesting if like he could have done that before, like. I, mean, I don't know if you could take it away. Well, that's a th- that's a thing, though. Like, I mean, where's your court? Does, do you have jurisdiction in the spirit world? Like, I can put someone in jail, but they can go. They can get library books and think about or, and use their imagination to be other places, right? It's yeah, kind of similar to the spirit world. Not many, actually not many prisoners that. have a vibe. True. <laughs> <laughs> do they extradite from the spirit world? I don't think so. They don't have any jurisdiction no. in the spirit world. Yeah, <laughs> they might now, like a hundred years from now. Yeah, now that it's open, it's yeah. open between both. Do they go and claim that land? <laughs> Like, like, the fucking, like, like, like the Europeans did. And then there's uh, a war. And there's just people who live in the spirit sure. world and they want to live in there independently. We were just, I don't know why it just popped up. I'm like, wait, he's the only villain from Korra that survived. So he's still in jail. I just wonder if he's going to like, all right, let's go to the spirit world and hang out there. See, I wonder, what kind of, I wonder if they have particular illnesses in the spirit world that they can give to people in the spirit world. Well, my my main like question is... smallpox My there. main question what? is, if you could stop him from doing that, would you? Or would you... I'm telling like, you, I'd, just, you? I'd throw him in that pit. Yeah. yeah. I'd throw him the, in a seal of souls. So you'd put him souls. in jail over there as well. I'd, I'd put him in jail? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd yeah. wait in the spirit world for him to join in. Ah! And I'd, ah, I got throw him it. to that big bug. I don't know. stuck there for eternity, I don't know, man. Or the face stealer? Take him to that. Well, the face dealer really, he, he, had, he crosses over to our world to take a face, right? I mean, he can still take your face there. Yeah. He can yeah. do both. Like, because he took. Because if you astral um, project in there and Aang had his face taken, would he still have his face when he came back to his body? No. <laughs> no let or would his spirit just not have his face? Let him be in the spirit world. Maybe he'll find some bad spirits that are wanting to fight him. And yeah. he, him doing it that way, he wouldn't have any powers. Well, what if he did the anarchy thing in the spirit world? Fuck that up. What? The what? What, what if he did his anarchy stuff? Yeah, you, know, you fuck it's, things it's up there. Chaos. Yeah. It's already chaos in the spirit world. That's what he wanted to return our world. Like, could he go to the spirit world and then come out the door and then have his spirit I mean, hanging out while he's in prison? He has to be able to do something like that. Like, like, like yeah. an astral projection? Janora can do it. He has to be able to do something I, like that. I would feel that that would mean, because he could do that, I would I would feel justified taking, in taking away it away. Yeah, I'm saying. Because what if he went yeah, to well, Yeah, but you take away forever? I don't know. Well, until you got what, it, What if he did it and used his spirit projection to, like, watch the guards and try to figure an yeah. escape plan or something like that? That's a good point. Like, does he have a... I, I wonder what kind of prison they put him in. Because he yeah. wasn't an airbender before when they put yeah. him on that plateau. And everyone else they put, like, in places where yeah. there's nothing they can do. You know, the volcano. Yeah, How do they give yeah. that chick water drink? Hmm? In prison. Yeah, sponge. Like Jesus. No. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she could pull the... Of course, yeah. There's been no way of being able to give her water. And, They'd have to yeah. do it with, like, a tube or something. Yeah. Like a drip. You, I mean, she could just save it in her mouth and just wait and use it for something. Yeah, but you, I mean, if she I mean, didn't... if she doesn't take it, she have a dies. humidifier. Yeah, if she doesn't, she goes dies. down there. By the time it gets down there, she just takes it out of the air and drinks it. Uh-huh. I mean, they have to keep it as dry as possible. I don't know how they I'm do just saying maybe they, they have a limited amount that she gets this time of day, this time of day, this time of day, you know? Yeah. If you don't drink it, you know, you're going to dehydrate. You don't have any energy. They just wait until she's almost dead and go there and put a bunch of water and get the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> 
don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Shane is a cartoon in a volcano. Well, I mean, she needs she needs her. Well, I, I used to think that maybe her they hands need to be free, but I don't necessarily need to be free now that she did not have hands for one thing. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about hands? No, I mean, the, 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 way, the way they introduced bending up first, it, it made it seem like they needed to be able to use her body, their hands. Yeah. Well, She's in chains. Even in Avatar, we had Boomy, who was like, they locked my head for Yeah, me. but, you know, like, yeah. like, he was like a, like, he was so good that he could do it with his face. I think still, you know, she's so good she can do it without it. Yeah. You know? Because there, there's, like such, a thing as, like, there's such a thing as, like, uh, psychic bending or something. Like, yeah. doing it without moving. But they did that with Korra and Mako and Bolin in the, in the one place where they kind of tied them up and they couldn't bend. Yeah. So Boomy's just fucking good. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Boomy's good. I like Boomy. Yeah. But it's probably, like, it's probably like, like metal bending. like King Boomy. I like both yeah. Boomies. But it's probably like metal bending where it's like you have to be specially trained to do it without actually moving your arms. And speaking of, you know, Bo Lin, I think he was very proficient at lava bending. It's just, uh, it's just rocks. Well, the, the most of the stuff that he did was when I'm stop lava, and then he threw two, like, lava things. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be one of those things, like, once you've unlocked it. That it you can use well, it just as see, well as you could your other powers. I don't even know if it's necessarily unlocking it. I just think that he never tried to bend lava. Mm -hmm. Because there was you know? not lava around the he places that it. he was in the city. The first city. time I think he ever tried it was when that lava was coming at him, and he's like, oh, oh, sure. you know? And he's like, oh, and he never made lava. He just bent the yeah. lava that the other guy had. Yeah. That, uh... But so, lava know, bending, you know, because we don't really have an answer about metal bending either. Is it a circumstance of birth that you're able to do it, or is it just special training? I think it's just technique. The same yeah. way that uh, like Toph knew it. That Toph knew that Toph she could learned do it. how to tap into it because of her blindness, and that like no one has ever thought about doing it the yeah. way she does. It. And then she yeah. and then she taught other people, but she, the first people she yeah. taught were the ones that she. Uh, she found them to have a yeah. a stronger connection to metal than like other people. She so did. if yeah. it's similar to that, then Bolin discovered how to do it coincidentally, or if it's something that he just never tried before, is it circumstance of birth? I mean, you know, if there was a giant metal sheet flying at them that was going to kill them, sure, could he have stopped it because yeah. he had to, you know? I mean, like, he, he was trying to escape the, the jail, yeah. but it wasn't like a life or death situation where if they didn't get out, yeah. they were going to die. I mean, it's like not like it's the Avatar state and it's a defense mechanism. He still, like, he did it. In, in my opinion, it was more coincidence, but it, which, you know, isn't the best storytelling device, but I still really enjoyed it. I'm glad yeah. that there was, like, a lava v. lava, and that guy got to be taken down a peg because he just fucked everything up the entire book. Yeah. You yeah. Know, took off the wall like that, you know? Yeah. I'm took glad the, the wall brothers and together and trapped all the fuck the out of them. Air nomads in the temple. Yeah. That whole fucking thing fell to the I mean he's dead, right? He caved everything in. I, I guess we didn't see him die. He's he's gotta be but dead. I would say he's gotta be dead. And they never showed deaths on screen. Not like, really. That guy's uh, well, dead. Is, is the girl dead then too? I would is, say she was underneath it, right? In water? I mean yeah. definitely yeah. the the psychic firebender is dead. Well, yeah. <laughs> Even though we didn't see her die, I'm sure inside the helmet it was just fucking pool water. You know? I, I think she has to be dead because he fucking shot her with lightning. No, like I mean, a full bolt of lightning. Like Iroh said that if you don't redirect it the right way, it goes right through your heart. If it goes through your you're heart, dead. you're dead. Yeah, and she she's a waterbender though. Iroh learned the technique to stop or, and redirect lightning from water bending. Well, people got yeah, shot, but, shot by lightning maybe could live. But then she got crushed by that volcano mountain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so I we're going to say that that so Zahir is dead. the only one of the red lotus uh, of, well, the, of the four. Of those, yeah. Because the, they mentioned yeah. that there's more red lotus out there. Oh, yeah. yeah, those fucks that were guarding the, the guards were like in a uniform. Yeah, there were yeah. red. And then they had like the priests. We need to see an army of those red lotus. lotus. I thought they were just or union guys, workers. and then an army of those like blue. <laughs> Blue Lotus yeah. ones, you know. We talked about that last week. Yeah. Like they're wearing like that blue outfit, you know. Yeah, like, oh. yeah there was part of me thinking it would have happened here, but there's too much stuff going on. Yeah, I guess. But that lightning water thing was cool though. That Whenever was she dropped down into there, she looked scary. Yeah. Like it looked like she had all these arms, and then it looked like she was like a centipede. I just, you know yeah. what I mean? It like Mako cool. had her at such an advantage, and she jumped down a hole and then completely flipped the advantage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then he was. Just, he didn't do anything. But then, anything. But then he completely flipped it. Well, that's true. I yeah. didn't. I, I love that because it's that thing we talk about that's surprising but obvious. Well, of course you could do that. Yeah. Why hasn't he done that yet? Yeah. Yeah. She has he water on his arms the time. He could have done that any time this entire book. Yeah. He never hardly ever lightning bends. He doesn't use it much. He's only shown it three times. Yeah. Yeah. 
And the first time he's we ever not saw it, at it, he was he was in the factory or whatever, just generating lightning for the yeah. city. Just lightning bending he into shot, a generator. He, he shot it at some uh, chi blockers, and I think he shot it at Amon. He didn't use it much book two. No. I don't think he used it at all book two, did he? I don't remember. I haven't seen him twice. use it for a long time. But he's also not allowed to use it like, for a bending. Three yeah. or four times, yeah. yeah. But I loved it, because, like, the way it flopped, it was like, we got you, you got no water. Just jump down. Like, oh, shit, there's tons of water. Yeah. And then he jumped up and did, like, a three-point, like, oh, ah, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, cool. he grounded himself, right? Well, he, not ground, well, he, 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 just, he just jumped up out of the water. He didn't well, ground himself. He put himself. his feet on, like, <laughs> stalactites had, and stalagmites. It was one foot and one arm that he had it, and then yeah. he shot like this. Yeah, he was just yeah, keeping he, himself yeah, he, out of the water so that he yeah. didn't get shocked. Yeah. Yeah. It, where is it? Is it after this? Because they have to channel it. Yeah, it's after. Or, yeah, right Yeah, there. it's right here. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was one arm or one foot. <laughs> Keep himself out. Spow. Yeah, See? there you go. No, arm, two feet. <laughs> <laughs> He's just really far back there, that one back there. He's just like, ah, yeah, he's ah. like... And then I guess uh, the, the next big thing to talk about is that, that air nomads are going to be nomadic <laughs> once again. Yeah, and they're going to actually they like wander. Anymore, do they? It's about damn time. How, how, okay, there was four temples they had, right? Yeah. yeah. They, they destroyed one, obviously, here with lava. The upside down one, how did that look? Well, this one wasn't at the northern the upside air temple. Down this was at like was a destroyed. different air temple. No, what? This one was at... Like, I thought it was one of the main four. Yeah. No, no this one was... Uh, they, they weren't in the... Uh, the Northern Air Temple. That's where they thought the Airbenders were, and that's where they had the last fight from the last episode. This was in a place that had like not this place. Yeah, this place that was destroyed. The place that got destroyed with lava. Did they destroy the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like the, the main place. tower and everything. And yeah. Last like episode? fell down and it started to glow and like break like, off. He and lava shit. That place so the Northern Air Temple is gone. The Southern Air Temple is still there, even though there's still elements of the Fire Nation attack. That was the one that they did the bombing with, right, and everything, and the, made the balloons? No, that's the Northern Air Temple. That was this one here? Yeah. That they did? Mm-hmm. This, this is the one where the guy in the wheelchair and his dad were at. Okay. So the Southern yeah. one was where they found uh, Zuko. Aang's, or Aang's, no, Aang's former master skeleton. Like, he, Aang oh, walked that's in, and he's like, where's everybody at? Like, the, the temple was still there. Yeah, because this one closest to well, the Well, that southern. one's still there. Then, the right? Western Air yeah, Temple, then, must be the one that... Uh, the Western Air Temple the, is the upside, the upside down. Sparky Sparky Boom Man yeah. destroyed, he, he, yeah. Mess that one up a good There's bit. still some And then the, which one the did airships the, Which came one did there. Patik? Patik was at a ter- air Patik temple, was at the, like the Eastern, eastern, eastern And nothing yeah. happened. That one's there. still that one's there. there. So they and have, then there's their own air... So they, their they, they have one yeah. or two. Yeah. Yeah. But the idea that they're nomadic again, like the original airbenders herded the bison all around the world. And they just followed the bison. That's how they became nomadic. But they need to breed some more bison. <laughs> yeah. Which they, they have... Like two of them. Yeah. They, they have like a little herd. They have two and some babies. Anyway, so they're going to do that and take on the responsibilities of the Avatar, kind of. Yeah, try to keep harmony. As they do. Yeah. But, I mean, they... And they're also going to be collecting other airbenders and stuff like that and training them. Hopefully they so, get some more training. Do, do they have... Isn't the Master stuff... Didn't we talk about that they have to make a move? Or is that not a thing? Uh, I is remember... That, is, they have to is invent... It, a, is, no, is that a way of becoming a Master? We had invent- said that before, and I'm sure that I read that somewhere. <laughs> it, but then I was, was told that that's not true. Is it a thing of like if you can invent a move, it creates you to be a master because it's an advanced thing? From what I from what I was corrected is that you have to learn all the previous created moves to become a master, and then Aang did it so quickly and created his own move, and then he became a master. Yeah, okay. That's but like, it's not a prerequisite that you have to create. I say if you create one, maybe it automatically makes you a master because it's not easy sure. to create a new airbending technique. Like would would uh, Janora's shared tornado thing be a new move but no. now it's making a bigger tornado <laughs> yeah you know even though she that's did not cre- something she did have leadership but it's not necessarily a new move it's not a new move i don't think and also it's not something that she herself can do yeah is that is right a prerequisite for that could you make an airbending technique that uses three airbenders That'd be, I mean, that could still be a new move. It's just you can't do it by yourself. Aang always had the best hair to be. You know, just those two balls. Look at alley oop. Alley oop's a good move in basketball. I can't do it by myself. <laughs> That's true. You can. What? Yeah, you, you can throw just it up. Throw it real high. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I've seen people do it. Oh, throw it against the backboard. Yeah. Oop yourself. Yeah, I guess. You can do that. It's not, not alley oop. You can throw a touchdown pass to yourself. What? You can. You can throw it really high and run down and catch it. And just throw it at the one yard line, just yeah. up and over. Just... Well, no, who? <laughs> Actually, I can't remember. I, I saw a clip of it, but a guy, uh, the quarterback throws, and a guy goes up, tips it, and it, the quarterback just catches it and runs for a shot. Yeah, because you can't throw it to yourself. You can't throw it yeah. to yourself. Yeah, someone has a touchdown. You can lateral or you can throw forward to somebody else. You can't throw it to yourself. 
Yeah. You can't throw it a bunch of people and run around and catch it. Could you <laughs> could you throw it at a helmet of a defender and catch it again? I think you can. It'd be so hard to like bounce off their back. Yeah, like <laughs> people have done it. Like actually, it's it's been done. like Kobe Bryant one time in basketball. He did that to himself yeah. too. He got caught at the line at the at the free throw line, and then someone was going a post player down there, and they had his back turned. He stood off their back, caught it, and dunked it. You know, it was pretty cool. Sometimes we get accused of like, man, this discussion was so short. And sometimes this one was so long. Yeah. yeah just talking about everything. We've been what talking for like... What this one's going to be? <laughs> we, had that, we had the flying thing. We talked about all kinds of stuff yeah. like this. Lightning water. Dumb stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the airbender's going back to a nomadic way of life. That's cool. And it does fit the whole looking for more of them, too. Looking for more. I like, um, uh, I like yeah. Kai. Kai? I think Kai's pretty good. Yeah. No, I... He's a good addition. I mean, he's... He's grown since we've met him. I mean, he was running and a th- kind of thievy and, thievy. and that. And, th- and this, you know, he was very selfish. Thievy. Now, thievy. He, he was selfish and now he was selfless. What, what do you guys think of having, what was it, like episode three, we had like Zuko, Kora's dad, mm-hmm. those twins. Yeah. And like they weren't able to hold off three of them yeah. before them releasing the, the combustion bender. Sure. But then in this one, we have just Mako and Bolin. Like taking out two of them, I guess just experience of fighting them. Maybe the you know these guys are so unorthodox in their bending styles. The first time you take them, you, you try to fight them like what they did there. I guess maybe Zuko probably has a lot more experience. Yeah, I mean I would figure Zuko and uh, I always get all the waterbenders. Come Tarn Rock is it Tarn Rock? Is that yeah, which one? Tarn Rock is? is her father. Because the Una Lock is, is, know. is yeah. you know, and there's all these locks and tar- but anyway, like. I figured they would have experience and stuff, you know? Maybe not the twins so much, but they were pretty strong. What we saw, they took out uh, Mako and Bolin. Yeah. You know? Yeah. By rock, paper, scissors logic. But uh, <laughs> I guess it's one of those things where the lava bending v. lava bending threw him off his game, and then the lightning bending threw her off her game. True. You I mean, know, I, had, even though Zuko, Zuko had, can't bend lightning. He can redirect it, but yeah, he can't We would have had three water benders, I guess, yeah. against um, an air whereas, bender, a yeah. uh, lava bender, and the, com- where, the combustion, the water bender. Whereas Ton, Rock, Zuko, and, you know, anybody that's fought them before are just... You know, they're great benders, but they're conventional benders, and these guys are unconventional. Yeah. So Mako, Korra, I mean, you know, even Asami, she's not a bender, but she's un- unconventional in the fight. He's shocking that guy on the ground. Ah! She's kept going. <laughs> I loved her yeah. having a yeah. moment of, like, yeah. jumping in and helping. I feel like uh, she, in this book, she fell back way be- yeah. behind a lot of other characters. She did. Even though she's such a supportive friend with Korra, Man, she like didn't have a whole lot of story. She, was, she had a big story last. She was season. really important in season one yeah. and and in season two. Yeah, and yeah. In this one, I think it was much more about the Airbenders. Yeah. So she was still there, but it wasn't as big of a like we need to make sure she's there all the time. Yeah, I feel like she had a lot more involvement also because they might have been based in Republic City. Yeah. Well, even still too, like it, all, a lot of the relationship stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Took you know it fell back too. You know they didn't touch a lot on like Mako yeah. and I, yeah. I guess Korra Mako, and Bolin, like all of Team Avatar, other than Korra, did get kind of like. Sidelined a little bit. I mean, he got. Well, they spent more time on the villains this time. Yeah, you know? like, like they building did. up our villains. That's, that's true, which, and I, yeah. I, I probably enjoyed it more because of that. But I always think about with Avatar, like Sokka, like he's not a bender, and he's comic relief like Bolin is. But he has just moments of I'd root for him so hard, where I feel like Bolin is a little more comic. Like Sokka, like when he was going for that girl, guy, I was rooting for him. When he's, which girl? The uh, redhead? Opal? Yes. Oh, Opal. But then, they didn't really pay that off. Not yet, but it's another yeah. season, maybe. I don't know. And there's I still mean, that weird guard. They had that sock. Hey, when he was going for Korra. That, didn't I, that when he was weird? going for Korra, I was rooting for him. Sure. Sure. The guard thing never came back. It seemed weird that they really focused on a guard and, like, what's your name, you know? Guinevere or something. Yeah. <laughs> but then the, nothing happened then in this nothing episode. Nothing freaking happened. Maybe next season. I, I don't guess. know. Maybe, maybe it, they put that in there as, like, a thing as, like, oh... You know, we know we have yeah. we know we have books for. She saved Tarn Rock, right? And yeah. Then, then yeah. she had like she a saved thing. that, and then to um, who was it? Was it Lynn? Yeah. Or it was, somebody? It was uh, no, it was her sister, right? Because they're the metal clan. No, someone else besides. Because then she told them to stay. No, she wanted to. She wanted to go with. Uh, well, she talked to someone else first, and you were like, "Oh, who's this?" And then she like specifically talked. She's like, "No, you guys stay back here." And I was like, "Okay." She like wanted to go with Tenzin or something. Yeah. It just, I was like, there's going to be a story where Tenzin leaves this wife, goes with her. He's done it before. But it just, <laughs> oh, he didn't, he didn't leave Lynn. He, yeah, mar- he was married to her. He wasn't, he wasn't married, married to her. her. He left her, though. I mean, they were they involved. Broke they, they broke up. They broke up. They broke up. They're probably something. getting on, at least. 
But no, I just... He runs off another woman. Yeah, he's the only master airbender in the Piece world. Piece of shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's other tricks like I just really yeah. felt like there was something more about that guard, and it just never came back, and I was like, okay. Maybe it'll pop up next book. Although, thinking about it now, it probably is good that he went with a non-bender. Yeah. So the, the airbender could be the dominant. Yeah. yeah. If, if and he is, wouldn't get half, if it, half it works, metal benders. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if it works that way, yeah. I think that's how it works. Maybe because A I mean, got with a... With a waterbender. Water and one got of his one airbender, got one, one waterbender, water and then one blank. One air. He shot, he shot blank. Yeah, there's always that thing. Like, <laughs> people are like, I don't care. He is an airbender now, but he wasn't. You know, say, I don't care if I avoid a girl, but he's like, a waterbender, fuck! And the guitar's like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. I'm trying to fix genocide. <laughs> <laughs> fix genocide. <laughs> Oh man, it's okay. I don't got anything else. You guys got anything else? No, uh, this, this book was good. I enjoyed the book. Uh, the whole uh, queen thing, you know, the Earth Kingdom, like all that stuff going on. So maybe we'll touch on that the next I'm, book. I'm gonna say so far, this was my favorite book. Even though I loved the first half of the first Korra because I loved Amon as a non bender more than I liked what he was revealed to be. Like, I loved that and how amazing he was. Yeah. But then he, I, I feel like it kind of went downhill when it was revealed he was just a, he was a waterbender and it was a secret and all that stuff. This one I felt like the villains made the book for me. Because mm -hmm. even though Zaheer is wrong in his anarchy, like, oh, he's not he's not evil, he's chaotic. You have like this group, kind of like anti team yeah. you know? It's like they're having the Psycho Rangers for yeah. Power Rangers or something, you know? We're having like Bebop and Rocksteady against the turtle. Like, Here's these mutants versus the mutants, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like o Ozai in The Last Airbender is a great villain, but he's just pure evil. The only reason I like him most I do is because he's played by Mark Hamill. Fucking Mark Hamill. You know? Yeah. And I'm like, well, he's amazing. But like, he, at the end of the day, he's not a compelling villain because he just wants to rule the world, you know? And there's yeah. no real motivation past that. Whereas, yeah. Unalak like, had different. Amon, or before Amon, it was yeah. revealed that it was just revenge, like. Unalak. He, his, oh, he had the, one of the best motivations, I felt like, like with the whole social thing. Uh, yeah, but also, I also, I also like, Which one? I, I like finding out the truth about Amon, honestly. I like how yeah. I, I think I, normally I, that's how a lot of those things always start. Sure, but... Tarlock. Yeah. Tarlock and his brother was some luck. Yeah. It, I hate that they do that. Like, Tarlock, Unalak. It's really hard for me to keep up on this. Uh, yeah. That's like me trying to remember names from My Hero Academia. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just they're, they're all locks, and I'm like, sure. what character do you want to know? Quit doing it! Huh? What character do you want to know? How about know? Chocobo, Calvin? Chocobo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching uh, our reaction to the finale and the very long discussion. If you want to see the next book's premiere right now, go to patreon.com slash blindway and watch that reaction. I don't know what happened yet. Right now. I wish I could do that right now. I haven't seen that one. Wait, wait. <laughs> 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 <laughs>